Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of RobertoBlake.com helping you create something awesome today. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about Avid Media Composer and the fact that Avid has announced that they're doing something that they have not done before. They're doing a free version of Avid Media Composer. Now for those of you who may be less familiar, Avid Media Composer is one of the most robust video editing software packages out there. It stands toe to toe with Adobe Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro and is often used in bigger studios. So it's one of the big three out there. I know a lot of you think like, well, wait, what about Sony Vegas? Sony Vegas is good, but Sony Vegas is not in one of the big three. It's in what I would call probably the big five, but not the big three. So um, that's something interesting. And I guess I'll cover that in my updated uh, video coming out about best video editing software. I did one on best free video editing software before this announcement, and there's some other products that have been coming out. So I need to do an updated uh, video dedicated just to some of the individual free products out there. I'm definitely gonna do that. So make sure you're subscribed to get that going forward. But I would say that what's interesting about this is Avid is going to be able to allow you to use a free version of Media Composer. It's called Media Composer First. And uh, the interesting thing about that is it will give you majority of the basic tools you need for video editing and allow you to kind of get comfortable with Avid's workflow and then transition into the professional software. Now, the reason this is huge is because it's closer to what Apple has with um, iMovie and then you transition to Final Cut Pro. Adobe has Adobe Premiere Elements, but that's still paid software. There's not a free Adobe video editing product aside from the mobile version of Adobe Premiere Clip to transition you into the pro level software. So I think this is huge. I think this is gonna get a lot more people on Avid Media Composer. Now, I haven't used Avid uh, Media Composer in years, but I have used Pro Tools on the audio side, so I am still using their products. I actually have an M audio box here. Um, but anyway, the point is that I think that this is gonna be tremendous for the video editing community. I think it's gonna be one more tool that's an alternative to iMovie and to Windows Movie Maker on the free side that's a lot more robust and this is gonna be the software that I'm probably gonna to recommend to beginning video editors as far as the best free software out there going forward once it's released. And as soon as I have a date for you, I will get that information out on social media, so make sure you're following me on Twitter or that you're a fan of the Facebook page. Those links are in the description for you, but um, I will announce it that way, and then as soon as it's available, and I've signed up for the beta too, um, I will go ahead and I'll do my review video, my walkthrough, my intro to that product. So make sure that you're subscribed so that you see those videos coming out. But again, I think this is a big deal. I think that this is gonna be a super competitive product. I think this is going to be uh, game changing in the fact that for beginning video editors, they're gonna have something that's really good, really solid to do professional video editing with. But I wanna know your thoughts. What do you think about this move from Avid uh, let me know that in the comment section below. Do you think Adobe needs to put out some kind of free product to be competitive going forward? What other free programs are out there um, that you think people should be taking a look at and use for their video editing and animation? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching, and don't forget, create something awesome today.